today I have Mouse and Mole. We're going to finish the book. It is uh, the last chapter of this one. Um, I do have another one that I will read, perhaps. I've got to see how many books I have first before I commit to anything. I want to make sure I have enough time to read all of them. So this one is called The Boat. The Boat. The title has given us a little bit of a clue as to what's going to happen in the story. Now, we ended yesterday with... Uh, mouse and mole going and getting presents for each other because they um, in the previous chapter they left the houses and each one of them felt kind of sick so in the morning they wake up and they feel refreshed because they've taken a nap and they've slept through the night but then they also feel very sad because they're afraid that they didn't make a very good impression on their neighbor they were feeling like they were being a little bit selfish which led them to go shopping and get sunglasses for Mole, so his eyes wouldn't hurt, and candles for Mouse, so she'd be able to see in the dark. Kind of dark in this hole. So it ended with them walking down the path, having cheesecake and fried worms. So this one, the problem was solved pretty much right then and there. That brings us to the boat. As I'm reading, Pay attention to the words that I say that let you know who is talking. The characters will have, will have, the characters when they talk, they have quotation marks around them. Now you can't always see that when you're listening to a story, so you have to be paying attention to the words that you hear, like said mouse, said mole. Those are the speaker tags that are going to let you know what character is talking at the time because their pictures are getting a little bit harder to see. Uh, you don't always know which one is talking. Like here, they're both going together. So you really have to pay attention to those words. Um, let's see, okay, we'll go ahead and get started. Mole knocked on Mouse's door. Tap, tap, tap. Good morning, Mole, said Mouse. Good morning, Mouse, said Mole. I hope you like your... I hope you like surprises. I love surprises, squeaked Mouse. Don't tell. Let me try to guess. It has to do with water, whispered Mole. Mouse twirled her tail. It had not rained in two days. The flowers in the garden were starting to droop. She hopped up and down on one foot. Is it a rain dance? guessed Mouse. No, said Mole, not a rain dance. Mouse waved her arms back and forth as if she were casting a line. Casting a line, what do you think that means? Fishing, yeah, she's pretending like she's fishing. Are we going fishing then? No, not fishing either, said Mole. Mouse scratched her ears. She was hot from hopping up and down. Her arms were tired from waving back and forth. Swimming? She squeaked, hopefully. Now it's hard to see, but hopefully you heard how my voice changed a little bit, like she was asking a question. Swimming? And the question mark there lets us know. The author put that in there so that we could read it the right way, so that it would sound like she was asking him a question. Wrong again, said Mole. Follow me. They hiked along the path to the pond. There in the water was a boat. Surprise, shouted Mole. My, what a beautiful boat, said Mouse. I have only one paddle, though, said Mole. No problem said Mouse. We'll take turns. Good thinking, smiled Mole. So what do you know about Mouse and Mole so far? Throughout the whole story, we've kind of, all the chapters, we've kind of learned a little bit about them. Well, if you said they're good friends, they care about each other's feelings, 
and they try to do things together and work out any problems they might have, you'd be right. If I were Mouse, Mole would be a good friend for me. If I were Mole, I think Mouse would be a good friend for me. As people, we want our friends to be nice. We want them to work with us and make us feel happy. Off they went. Mole paddled and paddled. Then he paddled some more. His arms were getting sore. They had passed the willow tree three times. Hmm. What does that tell us? It's kind of hard to paddle with one paddle. Mole's getting tired. Mouse is trying to be a good friend and not be like, uh, we're not going anywhere. So I wonder what she's going to do. Mole is getting tired. He can't keep rowing with one paddle. I think we're going in circles, said Mouse. Here, let me try. Mouse paddled and paddled. Then she paddled some more. Soon, Mouse's arms began to ache. They passed the willow tree three more times. Only now, they were headed in the opposite direction. You're right, Mouse, said Mole. We are definitely going in circles. Both Mouse and Mole were hot and tired from all the paddling. Let's go for a swim, suggested Mole. They dove into the water. Mouse splished, Mole splashed. How refreshing. Ah, so Mouse got to go swimming after all. They climbed back into the boat. Mouse twirled her tail. Mole rubbed his nose. I have an idea, squeaked Mouse. Why not switch paddling more often? Haha, <laughs> good thinking, Mole chuckled. At least we won't be as tight we won't tire as easily. Pretty soon Mouse and Mole were zipping across the pond. When they reached the other side, it was time to turn around. Mouse and Mole were experts at turning around. Why does the author write that? Mouse and Mole are experts at turning around. Think about it. It's going to be one of your questions. Think and see if you can remember why. Ouch! squeaked Mouse. Something is nibbling my tail. She yanked out the water. A fish flopped into the boat. Way to go! said Mole. Our first fish. Mouse and Mole hopped up and down in celebration. They waved their arms back and forth at the sky. Then it began to rain. Hmm. So at the beginning of this chapter, Mole says to Mouse, I have a surprise for you. And Mouse says, oh, okay. Is it swimming? And he said, no. And she said, is it a rain dance? And he said, no. And then she said, are we fishing? And he said, no. They did all three. They did a rain dance and look, rain came down. Went fishing with her tail. Fishing, pretty cool. And he didn't even plan it. The next day, Mouse knocked on Mole's door. Tap, tap, tap. I have a surprise for you, whispered Mouse. Let me guess, Mole clapped. Like Mouse, he too was fond of surprises. What does fond of surprises mean? Fond. Also going to be one of your questions. Like Mouse, he too was fond of surprises. It has to do with pears, she said. Do you mean pears like on a tree, asked Mole, or pears like mittens? Does anybody remember what we call those? We did it in our super syntax scholars. Homophones, yes, homophones. 
two words that sound exactly the same, but in this case, they're spelled different and they mean totally different things, but you say in the same way. A pear, like you eat, and a pear like two. Like mittens, said Mouse, only not mittens. Mole rubbed his snout. He kicked the dirt with his feet. A claw poked out of one shoe. Is it shoes or socks? Guessed Mole. Nope, not shoes, not socks, said Mouse. She disappeared behind the tree. What do you think it is? Something that comes in pairs. There are two of them, so maybe it's something they're going to share. Not a pair that you eat. Not mittens or socks or shoes. Hmm. Surprise! Out jumped Mouse. She handed Mole a paddle decorated with ribbons. Now we have a pair of paddles. A pair, said Mole, like you and me. Together, they hopped up and down, dancing in circles around the oak tree. Mole waved the paddle back and forth at the sky. Plop, plop. Down came the rain once again. Mouse in Mole's garden never looked better. Another rain dance. All right.